Hey everyone, Wazoo here, and this is a little episode on how to build Raylib with Visual Studio 2022. Raylib is a easy to use slash easy to enjoy game engine that is open source and available on raylib.com. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna clone the repository, then we're gonna open the project in Visual Studio 2022, and then we are gonna build it and finally create a new empty Raylib project and just create a really small window and demonstrate how to link it to the new built library that we created. So here I am on the Raylib site and we can go right to the GitHub folder, cut the, and just git clone. Okay, so we've got Visual Studio 2022 opened up and let's go ahead and open a local folder. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our drive and then go into the Raylib folder that we just cloned from GitHub. And then just hit select folder. It will then open everything up and then go through the CMake files and try to work with what's already in there. Okay, so once you see the CMake generation is finished here on the bottom tab here, Let's go ahead and right click on cmakelists.txt in the root folder and select build. And this will go through the process of creating a debug ver static version of the Raylib library. The project creates a new folder called out. And within that is another build folder. And within that is x64-debug. And we've got a Raylib folder. And inside this Raylib folder, we've got an include folder with our header files and the static compiled library, raylib.lib. And that's all we need to do to build the library. So what we're gonna do now is right click on your Visual Studio icon in the taskbar and open another instance. Okay, and then create a new project. And we're gonna create a console app, C++ console app and hit next, and then just call it whatever you want. I'll just call it Raylib Hello. Okay, and then hit the Create button. Okay, and it'll open the project for us here, and so we can delete everything in the bottom here. Okay, so what we can do at the top is we can say include raylib.h, and of course you'll see the red squiggly because the compiler does not know where that currently is right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the project name, so raylib-hello. And then we're gonna hit the properties. And then what we're gonna do is go to the C++ options here into general. And then there's an option here for additional include directories. And let's go ahead and open it up. And we wanna navigate to the out file. So you're, wherever you cloned raylib, so go into the raylib here, into the out folder into build, x64 debug, raylib, and then finally include, and hit select folder. Okay, and then we're gonna also need to include the path to the static library. So if you just hit the apply button here, make sure that's all okay. And then go down into the linker, linker options. And in the general tab, there is a additional link libraries option here. So go ahead and hit the edit button, hit the folder icon and navigate to the Raylib folder again, into the out, into the build, x64 debug, Raylib, and you can leave it right in the root of the Raylib folder. So here's what the final path should more or less look like. Okay, and then hit apply. And then on your input settings here, you want to, in your additional dependencies here, you want to go to the edit and you want to add raylib.lib and because we're on Windows, winmm.lib, which is the Windows Multimedia Library. So go ahead and add, add those two things to the list. Hit OK. Hit Apply. If we go back to the Raylib website, you will notice in the Read me MD a little code snippet, and this is a great little testing tool to make sure that you've got everything set up correctly. 
So you can go ahead and cut and paste this whole function, drop back to Visual Studio and paste it in there. So what we're gonna do here, let's go through it quickly here before we run it, is we've included the raylib.h header file. And then the first line is we're calling init window, which creates a new graphics window using raylib of width 800 pixels and a height of 450 pixels. And we're giving it a title, raylib core example basic window. And then we get into a infinite loop while the window is still open. Every time through this loop, we will call begin drawing, which prepares the, the graphics device for drawing. We clear the background to white. We then use a draw text method to draw a string saying, congrats, you created your first window. We're positioning it at, at an X coordinate of 190, a Y coordinate of 200, and we're using a font size of 20, and our color is light gray. So you know what, I'm gonna change this to black just so we can definitely see it. Sorry for all the ho hovers, people. I know it's kind of giant. So let's use black. And then finally, we're gonna end drawing, which then does the magic of transferring everything on our graphics device to our screen. And then, and then we go into the loop again, infinitely until we close it, as I said earlier. And then finally, to clean everything up, once we trigger the close window method, we call close window to make sure that we clean up any artifacts that Raylib created during the setup. So let's go ahead and hit the play button here again. And it should compile everything and build. And then here we have our window saying, congrats, you created your first window. And that is your very first Raylib 5 program. I hope you had a really great time with this. I can't wait to see what it is you decide to create using Raylib 5. I'm gonna be creating a few things myself and I can't wait. And I'll be dropping them on this channel. If you like what you see, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one, everyone. Peace.